UJFM in the forefront of global excellence. UJFM, shaping the future. 16 minutes past four right now. This is UJFM 95.4, the UJFM Drive Show. We heard the sounds of Chip Coco with Unubu Bulbele, featuring Mizzo and Mazet SA. And like I said, it is time for our interview with UJ alumni. We are today speaking to Umu Sisipati, and she's even brought today um, her mentee, Ukarabo. How are you guys doing today? We're good, we're good. I'll be fine, you're well. Yes. I know, man, it's great yeah. to have you guys. Thank you for taking the time to, you know, to be here, you know, and be able to engage with us and the listener themselves, just to hear, you know, what UJ has produced and, you know, the mm. wonderful things you guys are doing out there in the world. Thank you so much. I really honor this, guys. Thank you so much. No, I can imagine. Just, you yes. know, to get a little idea, you know, uh, how long you've been an alumni. What year did you uh, graduate from the University of Johannesburg? With my experience, I've got 10 years of experience now, so it's a decade. <laughs> The last year I was here on a normal degree was uh, 2012. 2012. Yeah, 2012 was the year. So, yeah, it's been 10 years since I've been out there. But came back. Oh, yeah, I came really back. So, I'm still part of you guys. Yes, I'm still yes. here. I mean, we're always going to be connected. <laughs> yes. Right? Uh, you know what yeah. I mean? For life. And how many years were you studying? No, the, the first degree, degree was uh, National Diploma. It was three mm. years from 2010 yes. mm. uh, to 2012. And I came for the BTEC in 2013. And I came for my master's in 2017. Wow. And now I'm a PhD student. Look at that. Hey, yes. I know that's right. Yay, yeah. I'm telling you, man. Uh, <laughs> and throughout all those years, um, you know, with studying, what is the most memorable uh, moment here at UJ for you? Yo, you know, environmental health, it's, it's one of those uh, courses where they need to take us out there for us to experience the real things. Because yeah. we are public health workers. So just being in the, in the classroom doesn't do for us. So I remember health tour. Uh, Mm. Health tour in Mpumalanga in Lanzeni, I think, yeah, it was one of the most memorable that I ever had. So, yeah, it's, it's part of our just uh, programs that they do for us, yeah, the department. So that was definitely a memorable. Shout out. And it's, I think it's yeah. also nice, you know, for the university again, I understand that, like, all the different initiatives that they include in the degree, you mm. know, I mean, look at it now. It's one of your favorite moments, even though you've been here for, you know, more than the normal three years. Yes. Um, and even just getting in health studies, what encouraged you to study that? Health, your health science. You know, I'm just going to say something that is very emotional in our course. Yeah. None of us got to environmental health because we want to. It's not known. The most unpopular. Mm. It's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. So for me, it's because I was doing biology. I was not that good in physics and, 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 and the other ones, but I was good in biology. And I said, okay, definitely I'm going to go for health sciences, which is our faculty, right? Yes. And then I came here in Johannesburg not knowing where I'm going. I remember I was, I was with my brother, Hozo, and then we got here and then we went to health science uh, faculty and they said, you know what, there's a space, I think, in environmental health. So the course chose me. Like, oh, any, course yeah, chose the me. course chose me. <laughs> and then, so when we got there, it was me, the faces I remember, it was me, Tanya, myself, shout out girl, <laughs> Tanya and Daniel uh, Lutle, and then we were part of the late application. So thank you, UJ, for considering those ones who didn't get the opportunity to apply. So it was it was that, and then I applied for late uh, um, application, and I got in. People were already in class, but you know what? We survived. But I think one thing that made me stay, it's a movie uh, called "Deliver Me from Eva," I think, yeah. by Gabriel Union. Yes, Do you guys know that movie? Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, but I, I remember watching it back a few back. Yes, like, yes, it's it's long time ago. <laughs> Do you, yes. that person was a meat inspector, and just the fears in her, her walking, like being all serious, oh. stamping the meat to check the temperature and all that. I was like, oh, that's me. That's you. And then that's it, yeah, hence I stayed. But yeah, yeah, that I, I didn't have a reason before. But I don't want to lie. Yeah. yeah, our course it's most unknown. Even our follow like public health uh, professionals like other like doctors, uh, nurses, they also don't know as mass, much as uh, we're supposed to be known mm. because we are the preventers actually of people going to the secondary, which is uh, for healthcare. Yeah. We prevent people from going there. So in, imagine we are not known as much in the country and everywhere else, but uh, yes, yeah, so that's why we, yeah. So I'm glad now maybe being here and other platforms, other kids now will know these yeah, environmental yeah, health so practitioners, so you know? Exactly, you know, and I think yeah. the more we know about the opportunities out there, you never know what your personality where it might, you know, be aligned for. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think this is a very important moment. And I think just like for you, you know, um, understanding that you want to enter this industry now, what goals did you set for yourself, you know, uh, when you entered it? And have you had an opportunity to achieve 
any mm. of them or most of them or even all of them you know <laughs> yeah, they say sub uh, success is subjective ne? yes yes it is yeah I, I i i am appreciative of the success that i am at right now yeah. i think i didn't have much uh goal set in when i left school but once i got into the space of now being a uh, an alumni yes. having to open my eyes and say you know what's next I told myself that I will never be without a job. So what I was doing from there is, because uh, there's something called community service yes. for, for environmental health practitioners and doctors and other professional health professionals. So I didn't get one. I was one of those who didn't get one. I think my boys also, they, mm. they're still waiting for theirs. I didn't get one, but I told myself that I can't sit. Mm -hmm. So I started in the private sector, I was wa uh, working for a pain manufacturing company. So the first goal was I shouldn't be without a job. Yes. Uh, that's m financially orientated. So it's been uh, m in my head that I need to have money. I need to be somewhere. I need to work. So I did that and other jobs. But now my aim is to, I, I think, to inspire a lot. Yeah, I just I, I want to inspire. I want to put environmental health out there. I'm not really the best out of the best. We've got like proper people doing work in the field also. But just for me having the platform and some not having that platform that I have, I think my goal is to be out there, policy making and all, because uh, that's our, one of our challenges. Uh, I want to be out there. I want to be a community worker as much as I can. That's, that's like no money job, but I need to be there out there every day. So that's my goal. And if I can reach as many people, yes. I will know the day that I live on this earth that I've done my part. That's I love the, the, the that. yeah. I love that. She's that's humble. You know, she's doing what she can do to make an impact right here on this earth. That's what we love to hear right now. Uh, right here, we are uh, still in studio with a powerful woman herself, with Umersi. She is UJ alumni, you know, involved in the health industry. And we're just speaking um, more not only about her experience in University of Johannesburg, but now in the department itself, you know. And ever since, like, you've stepped out in the big, bad world, you know, how can you say your qualification and maybe your experience here from UJ, how does it set you apart from your peers in the industry? You know, guys, you should be proud of UJ. Mm. For our field, we are not only health scientists. We don't only deal with like matter of the matters of the book, mm -hmm. but we deal with communities because mm -hmm. we go every day out there to do inspections. And then during the inspection, there's what we call health promotion. Yeah. That's where we do our health promotion. Like now, there was COVID. Yes. If you're going into a shop, you wouldn't just speak about uh, other health and safety issues that you're identifying, but you'll also be promoting that. You know, There's also food poisonings and other, any other illnesses, really, that are communicable. So with that, you also need people's person type of attitude. Yes. I don't want to judge all my other uh, uh, peers, peers mm -hmm. from other universities, but just judging University of uh, Johannesburg we are very bubbly. Yeah. Yeah. Cinebibe. Cinebibe. Yo. Yeah, no, yeah. Come on. <laughs> we are, are so true, <laughs> Hembendro. We are so bubbly. We are fun. So it's, 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 it, people can approach you easily like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you're in the field, it becomes easier. So I think, I think big up to you, Jay. You need to balance when you're, because if you're going to give professionals like this who are not just professionals in terms of books, but they need yes. to deal with people, for the university to give us that life uh, outside of books. It helped. It, definitely it helped. So and thank you. So yeah. No, I man, I, I agree yeah. with you. And especially, I think, in the health industry, I mean, if anything, if you're going to tell me what's wrong with me or how you can help me, can you say it with a smiley face, especially when you're kind of telling me about something that's really personal as, you know, my health. Yeah, like that, like make it light, like, hey? Please. Make you know, it light, uh, yeah. Can it come from a smiling face? Well, maybe not all news, you know, before it becomes insensitive. But yes. I do agree. Um, and did you have a mentor or someone you kind of just looked up to during your varsity years, you know, that kind of influenced your journey, you know, and how you kind of persevere and ch achieve all your goals? Yeah, I, I, I've, I'm one person who draws uh, inspiration from very various people. Yes. So anyone who I don't mention, just don't, know that, no yeah, shame. no, no shame, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I, uh, I will just, uh, the whole department, there's something about our department. Uh, because of the, the type of work I told you about, most yes. of them were practitioners themselves. We're talking about Miss Mukwate, who were practitioners, understand the struggles also on the ground. Mm -hmm. So those people have what they do once we are out. We've got groups running after we are on WhatsApp while we are out and we are putting in posts in there. 
mm. so that those who don't have jobs can so th i can say for the it, it is a mentorship program running itself yeah, yeah so mukwatle pick up lady like you you've done so well and you are humble uh, as an hod also you did amazing and then uh this special lady, lady who i love so much this lady i think i didn't believe in myself yeah uh, or maybe I didn't think I belong in some spaces. This lady called me up and said, I, firstly, I need you to come and start lecturing. Mm. Yeah, I'm going on maternity leave and I need you to come and lecture. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I've never even uh, started tutoring yeah. at the time. And then that's Martha Chadiwa. Mm. She's a, a, a work hard play hard type of lady very easy going and then she became my uh my supervisor when i did my masters yeah and then uh now she's doing her phd good luck Shout out to yeah her. so we are doing phd but she's almost done with hers and uh, mine i'm hoping to be done by next year so yeah so martha has been a pillar of strength martha has uh, showed me opportunities uh, that i need to step on which uh, I, I didn't think they were important in the time. And I think Martha was the one who sent the nomination for the top 200 young male. Yeah. Wow. No, yeah. That's, that's phenomenal. You yeah. Know? So and I don't want to say that I'm, you know, maybe favoring a certain gender, but it is also Women's Month. I just love the fact that she's just mentioning <laughs> queens right here. You know, yes. I can see why she's doing so well for herself. Um, we're still in the middle of the interview. We are not done. There's no way we're letting go for Mercy. There's a couple of questions we still have for you. Just right now, we're going to break away for our Sports Sports Bulletin with Brother Man Ray. But I'm one person who, if I'm given a task, I take it with everything. Yes. I take it with everything. I'm a head, hard worker, guys. I like, I try. Yeah, I try. I try. I try. So, going into it, very engaging. I went in with all my heart. Mm -hmm. uh, any projects coming in events i used to do back to the city Fe festival even went beyond to make sure that all informal traders every year yes. they, they are getting trained prior to the event like i'll be having all those projects uh, and any project that i'm throwing at i will do that so it's been very engaging that's what i can say about environmental health it's very engaging and it's very important so it it, 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 it needs you to be there with your whole heart but i think one of our challenging uh, stuff we uh, it's the recognition yes like with COVID, we were working hard. There was burial uh, disposal of the dead, which, which is one of our municipal health services. Yeah. We need to be there when they were. We needed to be there when they were burying people during the COVID nineteen uh, lockdowns. That and then with uh, other religious uh, activities happening at around two a.m. in the morning, we needed to be there to honor also those uh, religions. Yeah. So uh, that's the, the work. It requires you to the humanity part because now you are taking time from your family. Uh, to do that and then uh, we there's still uh, things that I think needs to be done into the field my opinion also in terms of uh, young people yeah. I don't want to be the only young person now oh, of course. they say this the youngest uh, manager is Messi I, I, I think we deserve a platform yeah. so um, I, I, I my wish is that we are given a chance because yes, uh, in most uh, government institutions, uh, it's also about experience. But mm -hmm. yeah, it, looking at the type of youth we have now, even yeah, I was we were talking of uh, we, around my uh, two thousand being fear, fear focal. Yes. We need those type of people because in uh, in government spaces we need to deal with political uh, people yeah. where they need you to stand your ground. They can't listen to you if you're not standing your ground. So I yeah. think uh, there's a space for younger management. Uh, coming up, uh, allowing us to, 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 to hold the wheel and also trying to balance the, the, the municipal health services in all uh, municipalities. If you can compare the metros now, yeah. law enforcement is on an upper level. Environmental health, it's there. When there's an event, you'll see environmental health part of the, the event uh, team, committees. Mm. But you go to uh, rural areas, it's not the same. It's not the same. No, that's true. But we, are, we have the same national legislation. Mm. The so National Health like Act that. is for all of us. The environmental health right, mm. I think WHO actually now is, is said it's a, it's a right, human mm. right, other than our constitution declaring that it's a human right. Mm -hmm. We still have problems in rural areas. Oh, that's in, honestly, yeah. uh, it's amazing. If one thing I am really capturing, especially just as she speaks, you know, it's just kind of just the passion she has for this field. Mm. And I love it. I guess it's something that you have to have when you enter this field, as you said. Um, it's phenomenal. It's definitely admirable. And you know what? She said it slightly, but I'm going to make sure I shine the lights on the fact that she did include that she's the youngest manager out there in the department. <laughs> We're not just going to let that go. I just want to make sure we flex our alumni. You know, you're <laughs> thank doing you. the most out here. Come yeah, on now. Thanks, thanks, uh, thanks. Exactly. Yes. You know, I mean, got to make sure we mention <laughs> this. 
Come on, highlight this. Uh, hey, we're gonna make sure, make sure you have your moments. And you know, besides you know being the youngest manager, we want to know what does Mercy do like in a spare time? You know, just at least or are you just kind of only uh, oriented around work. I on my spare time, it, it might look like work for others. On my spare time, it's 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 uh, it's a journey of healing others. So I'm part of community work. Mm -hmm. So other than we all groove, guys. Don't look at me and think <laughs> I'm still young. But I don't of think course. that's a point of saying that's your spare time. No, mm -hmm. you do that sometime. But most of the things that I do on my spare time is the journey of healing. I call it a journey of healing. I'm part of mentorship programs. Uh, we are currently running be be between Epitang, the primary school in um, Alexandra. And then we've engaged those girls with uh, the Sensitians, which is in Sentin. So it's two yeah, different yeah. backgrounds. Look at that. Yes, mm -hmm. we prepared uh, both groups. Uh, we had different type of mentorship for both groups. And then now we are engaging them together. They're having fun. It's girls. We're trying to just to bring the girl love also, women love. Uh, especially now yes. it's, it's Women's Month. It's yeah, there's love that we really need to keep on pushing for us as women as we are struggling a lot. So that's one of the mentorships that I'm doing. And also mentorship with, which is mine alone yeah. it's with the students of uj i've been trying to put them on yeah. so it means if i've worked somewhere i will make sure that wherever i work i show them that uj product is the one so that the next time when they've got an opportunity and they're looking for someone to they intern know to they know who to call so i've been doing that no, yeah that. i've that's, got that's yeah that's i try i've got whatsapp no groups Exactly. Yeah, Every trying to help. Sure. And if anything, uh, if you are interested in the health department and you haven't actually gone into um, studying yet, you know which university you go to, man. <laughs> yes. <you> <laughs> the standard's been set. If the, the standard has yeah, been boo, set. Yeah, boo, you know, boo, 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 boo. Bring the horns. Bring the horns. <laughs> yeah. Course, um, and you know, this interview wouldn't have been possible with the alumni office. We even have uh, Victor from the alumni uh, office. We're going to have him, of course, come through, be able to say a couple of words. Mm. And uh, before we, you know, give a chance, I just want to know what advice do you have to kind of just the UJ students or just, mm. you know, to the students at UJ and are just working towards their own success? You know, what would mm. you want to say to them? I will say explore. The opportunities are out there mm -hmm. and some are in other people. Mm -hmm. So it means I was telling them in class that you can't be hating other humans here. You don't have time for that for professional growth. So that when you can give a call to me anytime you want or your, your peer, hey? Yes. So explore the opportunities. Never think you're not enough. Mm -hmm. If you are given an opportunity, it means it's for you. It's for you. This opportunity is for you. Grab it. You learn. That's yeah. what I did. I learned. Uh, I learned while some I'm in uh, because of you. I already an educated somebody. I don't think you should be fearful of anything. 2000s, especially now, you are moving, guys, and just have the, the will to learn. And the will to learn is to grab the opportunities mm -hmm. and explore your other skills. Like, my arm tutoring research is something that I've learned that I'm good at. So I get money from that. That's mm -hmm. my private work that, that I do, or helping people analyze their research uh, mm -hmm. uh, results. So it's all the skills that you have. Explore them. You are a dancer. Go out there. You don't have to concentrate on one thing. Yes. You are an entrepreneur. Go out there and do it. So that's what that's the message I have for for UJ students. Let's I, I love that. let's occupy spaces. Yes, let's mm -hmm. occupy spaces. Yeah. The University of Johannesburg. The future reimagined.